This video is sponsored by Casio Malaysia. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Shirley and welcome back to my channel. Do you know the difference between original and fake Casio calculator? A genuine Casio calculator is obviously of high quality. The hard case slides on easily and the edge around the calculator is curved and smooth. Most importantly, the buttons are more sensitive when you press it and all the functions are working properly as expected. You don't want to risk getting the wrong answers for your exam, right? In this video, I'll be teaching you on how to solve questions using Casio calculator for additional mathematics. As for the materials, I've inserted the link in the description below. You may download it and print it out for your own self-practice if you want to. For those who still haven't gotten this calculator yet, don't fret. You may still learn from this video. At the end of this video, if you wish to buy this calculator, I will show you how to buy it from Shopee Casio Official Store. Alright, let's get started. In this video, you will learn how to solve problems involving permutations and combinations using SPM past year exam questions from Penang and Trangano Trial SPM 2021 paper. I will also show you how to use the Casio Classwiz calculator to get your answer fast and accurate. Let's look at this question from Penang Trial SPM 2021, paper 2, question 6. Diagram 6 shows 8 letter cards. A 5 letter code is to be formed using 5 of these letters. So B I S E C T O R. So total, there are how many cards? 8 cards, right? Okay, so find the number of different 5 letter codes that can be formed. So from here, we have 8. So 8 and then P, how many? So 5 letter codes, right? So 5, okay? So equals to how much is 8P5? Okay, look at your calculator. So you press 8. Okay, and then there's an NPR here. So you press shift. This is a times button. There's an NPR. Okay, so press 5 and then equals. So the answer is 6720 ways. Yeah? 6720 ways. Okay, our codes. Yeah, for this one, it will be codes. Huh? Okay, then for number 2. The number of five letter, different five letter codes which begin with a consonant and end with a vowel. So a vowel is a A E I O U. Okay? So from here we have how many vowels? So one vowel, I, E, and O. So there are three vowels, okay? And then consonant, how many consonants are there? So we have B, S, C, T, R. So we have five consonants, okay? So we're going to form a five letter codes. So one, two, three, four, five, and then must start with a consonant. So it can start with a consonant and then must end with a vowel. Okay. So how many consonants are there? There are five, right? So five P one. Okay. For the first code. And then the last one, we'll give vowel. So how many vowels are there? Three, right? I, E, and O. So three. P1. Okay, so let's say one card has been chosen for the first and another card has been chosen for the last one. So how many cards left? 8 minus 2 is 6, right? So for these three codes will be 6, P3, okay? So to find the number of different codes, five letter codes, we just times them up all together. And then we'll get, okay, 5P1 times 6P3 times 3P1. We're going to use the calculator, okay? So you press 5, then shift and then P and then 1 okay then after that you times with 6 shift and then P and then 3 okay and then you times then 3 shift and then P and then 1 and then equals okay so they are 1800 codes okay so this is the answer Okay, let's look at this question. The diagram below shows a four-digit passcode 8772 set by Johan on his door access device in his office. He wants to reset the passcode such that the new passcode cannot consist of digit 7 then followed by digit 2. So cannot eh? So how many different passcodes that can be formed? So first, I'm going to find the number of ways without restriction. Okay, so the number of ways without restriction
okay is so for this one will be so how many digits are there so there are four factorial right okay so four factorial there are four digits so four factorial but digit 7 is repeated twice so you have to divide it by 2 factorial if it's repeated so if it's repeated 3 times you have to divide it by 3 factorials okay so let's use the calculator what is 4 factorial so press 4 then shift and then this button okay then equals is 24 and then 2 factorial is 2 times 1 which is 2 so it's 12 ways okay so now I'm going to find how many ways which are digit 7 followed by digit 2 okay Okay, let's say up to here first, yeah? So it can be here, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2. Okay, and then the, the other two digits will be 7 and 8. So 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8. Okay, but the 7, 8 can be 8, 7 also. So here, 7, 2, 7, 2. Here, 7, 2. Okay, so here will be 8, 7. Then 8 here, 7 here, and 8 here, 7 here. Okay, so there are how many ways here? six ways right okay so we don't want these six ways so okay the number of different passcodes that can be formed that cannot consist of digit 7 and digit 2 i'm going to use this 12 then minus six ways okay so the num the answer number of ways eh? okay number of ways will be 12 then minus six so the answer is six ways okay or you don't have to write the ways also can because we have already number of ways so you can erase this so this is the answer okay let's look at this question from Trungano trial paper SPM 2021 paper 1 question 10 so diagram 10 shows a round table with seven chairs okay round table with seven chairs so here we have one two three four five six and seven okay find a number of ways on which seven students can be seated with two of them Aini and Asha sitting side by side. So let's say this is Aini and this is Asha. Okay, they must be seated together because they are buddies, they are BFFs. So the formula for round table is actually n minus 1 whole thing factorial. Okay, but you see, this Aini Asha, it can be another way which is Asha and also Aini, right? Okay, so it means that you have to times two ways. Okay, two ways, yeah, they can be seated together here. Okay. So here we have, um, but this, uh, they are, because they are seated together, so I consider this as one, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and six, which means that my n is equal to six, okay? So which is, uh, number of ways will be six minus one, whole thing factorial times two, okay? Times two, because it will be Aini, Aisha, or Asha, Aini, okay? So this is five factorial times two. Okay, press the calculator, so five, then shift, then this uh, factorial button, then equals, okay, 120 times 2, which is 240 ways. So that's the answer. Okay, let's look at question B. Yeah? Six students will be chosen. So we need to choose six, okay, out of nine boys and ten girls to form a team in a game. So find a number of ways to form the team if the team consists of all girls only. So okay, how many girls are there? There are ten girls, but we need to choose six students right okay so it's 10 c6 okay let's press the calculator so 10 and then shift and then this ncr is at the divide button okay and six then equals so it's 210 ways okay okay next one at least five boys are selected so which means that if it can be five boys or six boys right because we need to choose six so maximum is six so there are two ways so the number of ways would be okay let's say if it's five boys so how many boys total got nine boys right so nine c five and then it'll be one girl okay means five boys one girl or six boys zero girl okay so this is nine boys okay five boys and then one girl so girl is how many just now we got ten right so from the ten we choose only one Okay, so this is the one combination, first combination. Then there will be another combination, which is all boys, six boys. Okay, six boys and zero girls. So nine C six times, so girl will be 10 C zero. Okay, so let's calculate how much is this. So nine C five, so nine and then C five. Okay, so equals 126. 
Then tan C1, 10, and then C1 equals to 10. Okay? And then plus 9C6, so 9C6. Okay? Equals 84. And then 10 C0 is 1. Okay, anything C0 is 1, eh? So equals, this is 100, 1,260. Then plus 84 is 1,344 ways. And this is the answer. Okay, so you get 4 marks. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching until the end and I hope that you will benefit from this video especially on how to use the Casio calculator to get your answers fast and accurate. If you have decided to buy this calculator, I will walk you through on how to buy it from Shopee. First, you click on the Shopee link in the description below using your computer or mobile app. If you're using a computer, you will see this page. The price shown is based on the latest price and it depends on when you click on the link. Sometimes the price can be lower and sometimes can be higher. You also get an exclusive free gift from Casio which may also change from time to time. You also get free shipping whereby the item will be sent directly to your house. Just make sure that you buy from Casio.os which is Casio official store to avoid any counterfeits. Oh yeah! Don't forget to use the discount vouchers from Shopee, yeah? Till we meet again in the next video. Bye!